Ladies and gentlemen, welcome uh, to a playthrough, a very special one. This is a game on the Nintendo GameCube, and as you know, I've only done one GameCube playthrough up to now, which was Super Mario Sunshine, so... So the game is good. This game fucking sucks, dude. Fuck you, Miyamoto, and fuck you, Nintendo. You take your Nintendo Lapo and shove it right up your fucking ass. I did nothing wrong. This game is broken as fuck. I did nothing wrong. The game sucks. Can't, dude, I can't move. What the fuck? Fuck you, Nintendo. What the fuck is wrong with you? That was garb. That was that was the definition of game crap. You know, I have YouTube poop. That was game crap. That was called. I'm a game developer, and I don't want to put any fucking effort into my game. All right, wrap it up. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna be playing with my GameCube controller. Oh really? So this is gonna be pretty cool. This is also a game that is important to know. It's, I believe, one of the few, if not the only, mature-rated game published by. Nin what the fuck? You gotta be kidding me! My Wiimote batteries died. What happened? What happened? What the hell? Are you serious? I was just about to boot the game, the Wiimote batteries apparently died. Let's see what they say here. It says they're good till 2025. What a bunch of horse shit. It's almost like this is all a bunch of horse shit. <laughs> what a great start. People said this game breaks the fourth wall. The game's already started. It broke the fourth wall by killing the batteries in my Wiimote. Preventing itself from being played. How do you like that? Nothing I can do about it at all. all right, oh my god, this one's dead too. I got another one. This one's dead too. Alright. I gotta go get batteries. One second, everybody. I'll be right back. <laughs> Good lord. All this just to boot the game, too. I did check my equipment. It's almost like this is all a bunch of horse shit. There we go. Alright, now I can get my headphones out. <laughs> what an ordeal, the start of the game. Oh. Deep into that darkness peering. Long I stood there, wondering, fearing, doubting. Oh god! It's loud as fuck! Alright, I lowered it. Nintendo. Nintendo, motherfucker! Nintendo, bitch! Nintendo's gonna rip your scrotum off and shove them up your nose. So, Blackman Cheat Dive did a 100-bit cheer and said, Silent Hill 2 Hype, I had horror games on the brain ever since Remake 2 appeared at E3. Your playthroughs of horror games have always been among my favorites because your reactions are legitimate instead of exaggerated or staged. <laughs> you too will come to understand fear as I have. Yes! Silicon fucking knights, motherfucking bitch cocksucker! Yeah! You too will come to know red hot pokers up your ass as I have. Yes. Oh. Righty then. Some bugs. Someone get some rain in here. Oh god, maggots! Disgusting. Oh, come on, it's gross. Come on, man. Get to come call the orchid man. Someone cut himself shaving. Should have got one of those Norelco razors. What's this now? The line, the planets are in alignment for you to finally play the GameCube game, Phil. It's finally here. Here we go. Yes. The planets aligned and are telling me don't do Project 7 now. And so... Ooh. It's glowing. It's pretty. They're summoning Shenron. <laughs> yes. Eternal darkness. Sanity's requiem. <laughs> Wait a minute. Why is there a skull inside of two rib cages? What the fuck is this supposed to be I'm looking at right now? <laughs> a human skull inside of two rib cages, huh? I am Dr. Edward Roivas. I am a clinical psychologist 
Oh. I am also dead. Oh. This is not my story, Anity. Spieglitz shoes said buy rechargeable batteries. I did at one point. I had a good set of rechargeable batteries. But they wore out. Oh my god, look at this. Oh my god, she's surrounded by monsters. Oh shit. Fire! Oh god. Fire! Oh god, there's one more! Get him! Fire! No! No, don't shoot the wall, you stupid bitch! Ah! Shoot this fucker! Oh, she's two for one. That was pretty good. Where would that one come from? Your playthroughs of horror games have always been among my favorites because your reactions are legitimate instead of exaggerated or staged. She has no ammo. Oh, fuck shit. Uh, what do I do now? The darkness! Get that ass band! What the fuck is going on? Alex, answer that annoying phone! I'm the ghost of your grandfather and it's really pissing me the fuck off. Not a pleasant uh -oh. sight. You see, as your grandfather died, he spun and squirted liquid shits all over the walls of his house. To see. It's quite disgusting. He did it. Don't listen to him. He did it. That your grandfather, <laughs> Edward. I don't know. There's not enough left to tell. Yes, it's him. How does she know? He's wearing our family ring. Someone else couldn't put the ring on? <laughs> you piece of shit. I'm not leaving Rhode Island until you do. You fat sack of crap. There must be some clue in this old mansion revealing what happened. You waste a life. And answers. You stinky so piece do of. I. I wish I had some. What an awful, terrible, horrible thing to say. Negative, 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 negative. Okay. Mr. Lark just cheered, and he says, hold on. Mr. Lark, I'm not going to address... He's bringing up stupid drama in the middle of a game playthrough. I'm not going to bring that up. Uh, Quentaximus just subscribed to the channel. Thank you very much, Quentaximus, for the sub. I appreciate that. And Sheeplet, uh, Spieglet... Boy, I can't say this guy's name. Spieglitz just cheered and he said, I love how this guy casually drinks coffee as he shows her dead grandpa. Yeah, he's pretty <laughs> He's got coffee in one hand. He's he's got like a giant foot long Coney Island dog and this thing's like oh, I, it's, it's, it's unexplainable. Oh, it's, it's, it's no hair. I can't check that around. <laughs> God, the animations are so weird. I don't look at the ghost, do I? $15 tip. Thank you very much. <laughs> Oh shit! So you go, wow, and you wave your hands above your head like Kermit the Frog. Oh my god. Okay. Shocked by her grandfather's mysterious death and frustrated at the incompetence of the local police, Alex vows to uncover the truth. She decides to search the mansion, <clears throat> the place where Edward conducted the research. If there was a tie to his past and possibly a tie to his murder, it would be there. Oh! The fuck was that? All of a sudden, it's an audio jump. Look. Whatever that is. Oh, let's see what all the buttons do, because this is a weird GameCube controller. Oh my god, excuse me. Oh my goodness, excuse me very much. Sorry, guys. Okay, I guess we gotta go to the second floor. What? That eyeball's blinking at me. Look at that thing. <laughs> the eyeball's blinking. That's pretty cool. I can't see my eyes just started burning. I, I look, I can't see. My eyes just started burning like crazy. I couldn't fucking see. Portraits of the ancestral Ravis line, the foyer walls. Their faces reveal a dark, brooding edge. There's something about each one that gives the viewer an unsettling feeling. I'm up, son 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 up. Can I go up the stairs? Easing on the empty room with an almost patriarchal sort of sort of an almost patriarchal air, use the left thumbstick or right thumbstick to adjust the clock hands. She should use just the clock hands. No, not yet, not till we figure out what we're supposed to do. So I need to find a thing to set the clock to, right? And then I'll open a secret passage, but I don't know what yet. A glow cradle with a wooden frame, its glossy surface is painted in the likeness of an ancient map. Alasa! What the hell is that? Whoa! 
come to us. Pimps up, hoes down, pious are God stars. <laughs> Bring us a dozen eggs, Pius Augustus, and don't forget the milk. Finish him. All right, big boy. Goodbye. These are easy. First is the beginning of the game. I'm sure it's going to get way harder. A button attached to a small pylon softly illuminates the room. A bizarre energy is radiating. Press the button. Push the button. My finger is on the button. Push that button. There's red, green, and blue. RGB. I don't know. I don't know what any of these mean. Green is the normal difficulty. Blue, Gore Dogs is blue. Red is, red is on the left, blue is on the right. White appears, while green appears only when red is left. What? Okay, one zone neighbor says this is the game difficulties. Red is the hardest. I don't want the hardest. I either want regular or, or you know, easy. I probably want regular. Green is easy, blue is hard, red is normal. Easiest to hardest, green, blue, red. What people are just are, are are not agreeing. Some people are saying green is the easiest, some people are saying blue is the easiest. Uh. <laughs> Stream chat can't agree. So it says don't whatever you do, don't pick red. Red's the hardest. Okay. Yeah, see, just listen. Effortlessly, that sounds easy. Gracefully sounds like it needs some s skill level to have grace. So that's probably normal. Mysteriously. Okay, I'm gonna do blue. Let's do blue. Wait, Kekin says green, green is easy, red is hard, blue is dumb difficult? What? What? Get on with it. Yes, get on with it! What? I'm so confused! I'm confused! You, you're, it's pure Phil. You're getting the real deal. You're not getting the fake acting Phil. You're not getting a Muppet. I'm not like that. And you guys know that. For 10 years, I've prided myself on being the real me, not some bullshit character to make money. Resner says, no, they're not that. They all represent a different kind of difficult, a difficulty challenge. That this one is sanity, this one is magic, and this one is like health. Eternal Napalm says, red, green has harder sanity effects. Pick green if you want to see more of the sanity effects. Green will fit, hit your sanity meter harder. Blue means you won't have mana for healing spells. Alright, ready? Any, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny meeny, miny mo. My mom told me never to pick game difficulty with my eyes closed. Oh shit, I'm not even I'm not even in them anymore. <laughs> Alright, let's do green. Okay. Also, when does the X Factor show on the TV start Our up this season? I miss the Simon Cowell. Forever in shadow. There we go. Eternal Napalm says save often or you have to redo entire levels. Well, I couldn't save earlier. They won't let me. Look. I still can't save. They haven't allowed me to save at all. I don't know what you're talking about. Blue Dark City. All right, I got through them. Oh! God damn it. 
Wanton slaughter. Aha! What did I get? You got the doobie of truth. It's the stickiest of ickies. <laughs> Alright, we got a troll to me eight dollars. A complete idiot. I mean, you got to be really stupid to tip me eight dollars and leave a troll message that I'm not gonna read. But thanks for the eight dollars. I guess stupid. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Dollar, dollar. Thanks for the money, dummy. A grand piano stands here awaiting the hands of a decent musician. Unfortunately, Edward never really lived up to that description, and as such, the piano fell into disuse. Then why did he have one? Why would you have an expensive grand piano if you were never going to learn how to use it? <laughs> the table is set for one, Alex's grandfather. <laughs> yeah, take the same exact sword everyone else has had. Oh, it's not. It's the scramble sax. Scramble sax. Yeah, yeah. Scramble sax. Okay. Right now I gotta equip my scramble sax. Scramble sax. Great over his life, the monk tells Anthony that what happened, he was carrying a sacred urn from the baptismal font. He was confronted by the bishop, who was brandishing a large blade, whose eyes burned with an evil fire. Frightened, the monk dropped the urn out of shock and ran. Returning to retrieve the urn, he found only the sword the bishop had left behind. With that, he gives Anthony the sword. He gives the bit. The two edged sword! Ugh. And I got a torch. I'm getting all these items. Execute! Execute! Jeff Rude just cheered again. Another 50 bits. It's hopefully we can help you keep uploading the YouTube so I can continue watching video on demand. I feel bad I never get I never give anything to your Patreon, but I consume all your content over the years. Well, you know what? Thank you. Thank you for the cheer. And uh, yeah, you know. The bottom line is with the thousands of people who watch my stuff on YouTube. That if they all realized the seriousness of, the situa situ seriousness of my situation and did, say, example, contribute to Patreon or whatever, I'd be fine. That's the problem is they just watch, watch, watch on YouTube and never realize that, hey, it could all go away someday. And it might, you know, I'm trying to figure out a solution right now and nothing's looking too good. So thank you for the support. Shut up. No one cares about you, boy. We're in a bathroom. Great. Oh, Jesus Christ! Talk about a fucking jump scare, man! Come on, man! That actually genuinely scared me. What was that? What the f- I actually got scared for a second when it made that fucking sound and showed the body. I was like, oh, what the hell did they do that for? Fuck! <laughs> God damn it! Come on! Uh, m Mr. S Steal your girl 9,000 cheered us a div. Phil, get it, my dude. Fucking bird staring at it. Look. <laughs> Excuse yourself. God damn. That was one hell of a belch. I wonder why you get your why do you get your sanity back if you execute them like this? I mean, they still exist, right? It's not like, oh, because you killed it, it doesn't exist anymore. Why would you lose the, your, your insanity? Or your insanity? I don't know. It's weird. Mr. Steal Your Girl 9000 says, Poor guy, I hate when dudes get used by chicks, don't you? I mean, I think anyone who gets used by anyone, you hate that. This guy's obviously a complete idiot. Being led by his, by his nuts around. What a dummy. What a dummy. Arcane Shrine dominates the room. Braziers. Is it braziers or braziers? I don't know how to say it. It could be braziers. I don't know. Surround its edge while larger one tops the summit. No doubt each one will be filled with incense to facilitate prayer to insidious deities. No, it's not pronounced brazier. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up, douche kid. So people now are, are going to argue with me about semantics because they're being jerks and sh Nice! I didn't trigger them. Very nice. Norval Shaggy Rogers Tudor said, do you think I should start streaming an hour earlier like I talked about? Maybe. I don't know. It's been a week now and I can't get the ads back on DSP Gaming. It's not looking too good. So maybe I, I'll start streaming earlier in a week or two. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. What happened? 
What happened? What happened? Shout out to Joe. Wow, Joe just tipped me twenty-one dollars. I said the following. Hey Phil, as you know, I've been a long time viewer for seven or eight years from Australia. I won 20 bucks on a $1 scratchy, so I thought I would pass it on. I said before, head high, keep up the fantastic content, stay positive, and I'll always be with you. Thank you very much, Joe. So now I expect that people will say, oh, Phil's in trouble. Let me throw him money. I know I hate it. I'm tired of talking about the fucking money. I'm tired of it. Much appreciated. You are the top tipper for the day as well, Joe. Hope you enjoyed the stream. See, I don't know what's going on. I have low sanity, but I'm okay, it seems, right? It doesn't seem like the loose sanity is really affecting me at all. I still can fight everything fine. Oh, you can't see all the meters because of the face cam? Why'd they put the meters there? What a bunch of assholes. Why the fuck are the meters there? Really, nigga? Yeah, I have very low sanity right now. Very low. What? Oh, you interrupted me. I have, like, no health now. I can't run. I have no health. What am I supposed to do? I'm dead. That's it. That's it. I'm done. There was nothing I could do. They all spawned at once. I couldn't heal. It would never fucking let me heal. Nothing I could do about it at all. What the fuck? That was complete horseshit. It's almost like this is all a bunch of horseshit. That shit wasn't fair. Kareem Pierce at the hands of the eternal darkness with no one to stop their diabolical plans. Humanity will truly be annihilated. What the fuck did they expect me to do? Play those video games, bitch. Eternal Dar uh, Eternal Napalm did a 100 bit cheer. Happening? And he said sanity effects can be subtle, causing sound effects and camera changes, or it could be drastic depending on what's going on with sanity. Okay, interesting. Uh, so this is a restore magic spell, right? Huh? What happened? Did you see that? My body exploded. My body exploded. I have no idea what happened. Oh, if you're losing, that's an insanity effect, really. Alright, anyway. Dude, there's nothing I can do against these guys. They jump on you anyway. Even when you're hitting them, they attack you anyway. See? They're fucking mad annoying. Yeah. Steal your cat? Why do I get the feeling this is a, some kind of bait? <laughs> Timmy, a dollar said your streams always help me sleep. Wow. It's an insult. Well, thanks for the dollar tip, stupid. <laughs> there we go. Green blades with the blade of the slot, it feels like push back. Imagine the blade is not at the lock. Really? And what the fuck do I do? Uh, I thought that would be what it was. It's not. What the fuck do I do now? I have no idea. go back up? I don't know. I guess I'll save. Oh, what? Extreme Machine says you can enchant weapons. I'm supposed to enchant the weapon. And then it would allow me to open the door. How the fuck would I know that? It's a game mechanic that hasn't been explained. Okay, now I know. Now at least I know how it works. 
A blasphemous sculpture made from human skin and bone. A trestle of bones is created within the shrine. Like an Irish bookstand begging to be used. I don't have anything I can put in there, right? No, not yet. I must have to find something to put in there. Yeah, see, it's blocked. Once I once I find an item to put in here, then I'll be able to open the door to move forward. Okay. Oh, there's two people punching ice them. So please move, please Gotcha. No. Oh, wait, it's a book stand. Oh. Okay. Oh, that's kind of silly. You put it down, opens the door, then you can take it up again anyway. What's the point? Assholes. Hey, 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 kill all the assholes. Kill the gauntlet of assholes. Kill the gauntlet of assholes. What? You won't die. Now I have no health. Dude, this sucks. I can't. I, if I can achieve my weapon, I can do this double damage on this guy. It wasn't fair, the stupid enemy kept hitting me for massive damage. I kept whiffing and my blade was going right through his body and not hitting him. That was dumb. Maybe this giant blade shouldn't whiff on a fucking enemy standing right in front of me. Then maybe I wouldn't take massive damage, you know. <laughs> that was stupid. <laughs> and so she sucked his life right out of his mouth. <laughs> Your playthroughs of horror games have always been among my favorites because your reactions are legitimate instead of exaggerated or staged. What? The maid's attacking me! The maid's gone bad! Fuck, I don't know what to do here. I'm totally fucked. Dude, this is insane. I couldn't target. The camera, you can't control, so you can't target the enemy to shoot it. I did shoot it several times, but I only shot like one or two of the faces. That was stupid as hell. How do I kill this thing when the when the camera's terrible and you can't target with the guns? <laughs> Ugh. That was really stupid. Thank God I saved again. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Eternal Darkness. This is my second session of the game, okay? Oh, there's more. There's one, two, three. There's three more pedestals. Emrovius. Look at the faces on the ground. All right, take the toll. Okay then. 
My controller vibrated again. I don't know what the vibration means. The corner is shrouded with dense cobwebs casting a shadow, perhaps even hiding something. How do I use this? <laughs> How do I burn this with the torch? I have no idea. You would think it's the torch I'm supposed to use, right? I don't know. I can't seem to do like a downward swing. Cobwebs! Oh! Wow. I have no idea how to do this. You can't crouch in this game. There's gotta be a way to do this. Oh, use the brush! Aha! Uh -huh. It says tier one? What the fuck? Magical Codex. Uh oh. Whoa! Holy shmoly! No idea what to do. It's some kind of an annoying puzzle. There's no way to figure it out. I guess maybe because I got that metal, I go and I put it on the an original statue. I'm about to die. That really sucked. I just gotta stand here. What else can I do, right? I'm fucked. I don't even know what to do. How do I get health back now? I have no idea. I, I have to stand here for a ridiculously long time and wait for my magic to regenerate. And then I can use magic to heal. But there's nothing else I can do, right? I'm stuck. Does, does walking regenerate your magic faster? I think it does. Look. Look yeah, at my magic's going up faster because I'm walking. Look. Just walk in place till the magic regenerates. Then I can heal. <laughs> I really did get screwed there. I mean... It was a poison room full of booby traps followed by a blue giant dude and he got rid of all my magic. I got completely fucked. There we go. Just gotta keep walking back and forth, get all my mana and then heal fully and then go fight that fucker. <laughs> Which means I need to enchant my weapons with green to shoot the guy. Right? So we're just gonna chill out. What do you guys want to talk about? <laughs> what do you guys on stream want to talk about? While I while I walk back and forth like an idiot. Yeah. Walk in circles. Well, 
You know, we gotta make this all the time. Alright, I got full health. Now I gotta work on recovering my sanity. So I'll recover my sanity, then I'll go back in there and I'll fight that fucker. But let's get my sanity all the way up. Get on with it. Yes, get on with it! Okay. Now she's got the necklace and the, the, and the bracelet. Aha! Aha! Nice. Chewbacca cheered, he says... Why not do robo voice cheers instead of reading a cheer every 10 seconds? Boogie does it. His streams are always fun. You can also program it to censor malicious shit. Because so many people, what they'll do is they will find a way, okay, to make something that's not malicious sound malicious, right? Like, they'll say something that sounds close to a word that's bad and say, oh, that's what it is. And just keep spamming Remember it. Me, Alex. Oh, shit. How can I forget? Uh, Interbotos, do not worry. He says, Patron screwed up. Lots of money dropped for everyone. I recommend checking my dude. I've had no problems. I've had no problems at all. My Patreon's fine. I checked this morning. I'm good to go. So, even though, yes, a lot of people were ma majorly affected, I actually wasn't. I don't know why. I'm good, though. So, no worries there. Thanks for checking that. I know, I hate it. I'm tired of talking about the fucking money. I'm tired of it. The Inquisition. What a show. The Inquisition. Here we go. Welcome to Ublier Cathedral, Brother Luther. Oh, this guy's not creepy at all. Glad that our sacred order can be stopped. Thunderbolts and lightning, very, very frightening. Ba, 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 ba. Welcome to France. We have ants in our pants. We eat delicious cheese and croissant. Ha, 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 ha. All right. Yeah, it's a little stereotypical. Oh, uh, yeah, you think? So I came all the way up here just to see a fucking bell that I don't need. Ha ha ha, la croissant has some cheese and some wine. Stereotypical bullshit. We are chanting the monks in the cantations. La la la. C'est la vie, what is this? Paul Luther has to take a piss. Where's the urinal? He must know where the latrine is. Ring the bell. Ring. Ring my bell, ring, ring my bell. The darkness. Brother, you're fucked. Brother, have you ever danced with the devil in the pale moonlight? <laughs> what? Why'd you ask me that? Because I always ask people that in a bell tower. It's kind of cliche from the 1989 Batman. Hope everyone's liking the stream. Like I said, this game's cool. It is creepy, but it's more interesting as a weird plot than anything else. It's not like a jump scare game or whatever, right? <clears throat> Use the old tower key. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ! What the fuck? Dude, that scared the shit out of me. What the fuck was that about? Ah! Oh, look where we are! Dude, we're in the same exact place as fucking what's-his-name earlier. The guy who was with Charlemagne. The shield spell scroll. I just rec discovered the shield spell. Stop following me! Piece of shit. I'm stuck. Dude, I'm fucked. I'm done. I'm dead. I can't get out. There's no way to reload. Look. I can't reload. I'm infinitely dead here, dude. There's nothing I can do. This is so stupid. Get 
I can't do anything, I'm dead. That was really fucking Lost stupid, dude. Victory. Come on. Fatality. That was so dumb. He traps me in a fucking pew and there's no way out. And you can't reload your gun so you can never escape. That was incredibly fucking stupid. Stupid. <laughs> I mean, that was a guaranteed death. There was no way to escape that at all. If you walk into that pew, you are dead. Wow. Stuck between the pews. And by the way, I gotta fucking start from all the way back here again. Because it wouldn't let me fucking save. I tried, remember? It wouldn't let me fucking save. Stupid game. <clears throat> Oh god, it's the character from Charlemagne. Charlemagne. It's fucking Silent Hill 2 all over again. It really is Silent Hill 2 all over again. It's the fucking boss fight against the two, uh... Against the two fucking pyramid heads. Four shots to his head, he's not downed yet. Enchanting the crossbow? Yeah, but I don't know how to enchant it. If I enchant it, I don't know what color. I think his gem is blue. Oh, no, his gem was red, so maybe enchant it blue. Alright, let's try that. I only have one bolt left, I think. You won't die! I have no bolts left. I can't- what do I hit him with? I hit him with five crossbow bolts, and he's not fucking dead. What the fuck? I don't know what to do. Did he finally die? Holy shit. And now I learned this whole story. Paul has found a ruby. And I got the two-edged sword, so I finally have a melee weapon. Christ, I got all fucked up. I gotta heal. Okay. That was a pain in the butt. Raphael's my favorite to turtle. Or whatever he said. So I got two rubies now, right? I got a green one and a, or I got a, an emerald and a ruby. I don't know what I use them for. I guess I got the music now. I can go play the music at the organ and see what that does. But I used all my fucking crossbow bolts. That stinks. I just want to have it in, in my, the log that I checked these, even though I already read them. Okay. Can I save? Yes, let me save the game. Good. Okay. Phew. <clears throat> Woo! Wow! What is that? You've unleashed the Holy Frisbee! <laughs> now you can play a game of Ultimate Disc. 
In the cathedral, it's so taboo. Oh, Paul Luther, you're such a fucking rebel. Ooh, whoa! It falls over. Ten years, I prided myself on being the real me, not some bullshit character to make money. He shakes his head and informs Paul he doesn't need enough evidence against making an accusation against Augusta. There must be something else to find. Oh, come on! What did I miss? I got a green and a blue ruby, so there must be a, a there must be a, 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 a excuse me. I have a green and a blue uh, boy. I have a green and a red gem, which means there must be a blue gem somewhere. Why the fuck couldn't I say that? <laughs> I couldn't say it. I have no idea. I killed everything so far. Ugh. Eyeballs burning. I can't see my eyes just started burning. I, I look, I can't see. My eyes just started burning like crazy. I couldn't fucking see. Oh my god, there was a staircase there. I had no I, I seriously had no fucking idea. Can I say? Dude, I had no idea that was a staircase. Oh shit. Scorpions. Well, son of a bitch. I can't hit him, it won't let me. Well, I'm gonna die. Yep. Completely stupid. I did nothing wrong. He's standing right in front of me. I'm aiming for the head and swinging. It's not hitting. That was really fucking stupid. Again, it's, it's the camera and the targeting system in this game that's the shortcoming. Nothing I can do about it at all. The story is actually quite good. but And the puzzles are alright. But the combat is kind of shitty when it comes to certain enemies. Like, I, did no, I did absolutely nothing wrong. I ran right up to him, targeted the head, swung, and doesn't hit. <sighs> okay. Flesh. What the fuck is this? Bone. What? Bound together with the oddest magical incantation. What? This wretched book is where it all began so long ago. Before time. Before humanity. Okay, shut the fuck up. <laughs> For some reason it booted a new game. It booted a new game. <laughs> Stupid day. Okay. <sighs> Try again. See, this time I'll even put the enchantment on the sword in the room before. Let me hit him! I can't hit him! Look! They won't let me hit him! They won't let me! He's standing right in front of me, and I can't see because the camera is terrible and I can't hit him. It's not my fault the game fucking camera sucks. I can't fucking see anything. I can't see shit. I can't see shit. I can't see shit. Ugh. Aguilar Torius Chewie said, Do you think it's sometimes better to enchant a ranged weapon so you can have space between you and the enemy? Sometimes the problem is, I have a shitty crossbow that's so fucking slow it ain't gonna help. It would be one thing if I had a real gun. The crossbow fucking sucks. <clears throat> if only the, tar the, the actual camera would work so you could target properly, but the camera is fixed and it fucks you over. Oh, 
Shit. It seems like you can't kill him with the sword. It doesn't do anything. Blue is the weakness of red. Yeah, I fucking use it. It does no damage. So what the fuck? Up to now, it always worked. Now it does no damage. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'll try the crossbow. It must be a, 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 an enemy for some reason will not die to the sword. You need to use the crossbow no matter what. Hilarious. He's not even looking at me. Now I can't reload. I'll never get a chance. They won't let me. Yeah, I can't reload. Look. So much fun. It's worthless. It's completely fucking worthless. It is. It's completely worthless. Alright, I'm gonna try something else. I'm gonna try to make a blue magic field and see if he'll walk into it and get too slow. Just like I said it would be, it's too slow. Akio Artorius just cheered and said, Gee, do you think the magic trap spell would work? Well, Akio, I just said I would try it. But I also just tried your crossbow uh, idea, and it didn't work at all. <laughs> but wait! There's more! I knew the crossbow would be too slow to reload. I knew it. Not working. It's still not working. Well, he got past it, and now I have no heal, uh, no health, so I can't heal, and I can't run. Dude, this fucking sucks. What a bunch of stupid shit this is. This is terrible. So let's see. Let's re let's recap. Can't use the crossbow because the reload on the crossbow is too slow to ever get a reload on this guy. Can't use the magic field because it does doesn't do any effective damage on him. And you can't use the sword because it misses. Oh my god. Uh. Pingdom, no, you cannot you cannot reload in the inventory. If you tell it to reload, it doesn't work. Instead, he has to stop to do the fucking animation manually. It's really okay. I just hit him five times, he's not dead. I hit him five times with the crossbow, he's not dead yet. There, oh my god. 
Dude, I had to hit him five times with a fucking crossbow, and then I had to hit him with the sword twice. Jesus, die. You fucking piece of shit. That was fucking annoying. God damn. That was fucking annoying. Huh. Ooh, what are you doing, asshole? Ooh. Get it. Dispel it by using the red to dispel it, and I can't use a shield to walk through it. Oh, I need to use a five point spell apparently. How do I do that? Dispel magic. I don't know how do you, how do you assign the other power thing. Here we go. I don't know how this works. Dispel. I don't know how to fucking do this. How the fuck do you do this? I have no idea how to do this at all. I would probably have to look it up. I have no fucking clue. This is so stupid. Why do I have to do this? Netflix and Red Gormore. get this at all. Murdoch Chudy says, you got some sort of empowering rune. Use this combined with the dispel runes. I don't know how to do this. It, it, this was never explained at all. It was always automatic up to now, so I have no idea how to do this. None. I, I don't get it. Add two Pargons to amplify. What the fuck is a Pargon? What are you talking about? What the fuck is a Pargon? Power? Dispel. Area. And then Pargon? How was I supposed to know that? That 
almost zero explanation in the game of how to do that. If you, if someone didn't tell me how to do it, I literally would have had to just sit there and fuck around in the menu the whole time. That's kind of lame. I mean, admittedly, that's ridiculous. Why have a game mechanic in the game that's never explained and never used up until, you know, seven hours in? That's ridiculous, man. Why couldn't you have been killed with your pets? What the fuck? Uh... I don't think that's really her grandfather. Really happening? Yeah, I don't think it's really her grandfather. Okay. <laughs> oh, hi. Oh! What an asshole. Another dead guy. The man babbles incoherently about worms devouring his countrymen. Hideous bass relief adorns the monolith. Humans thrown into a nest of huge worms. The people have been sacrificed, ingested by the worms, to feel some unknown, unfathomable process. <laughs> Uh-oh. Whoa! Oh, fuck, dude. I was about to take a sip of water. You better take a sip, you fucking sleazy asshole. What the fuck is this? I can't take a sip of water? Play those video games, bitch. <laughs> K. Jones truly said, did me and Swaggin's sub gifts pay off? Wasn't your goal 500? Did we make it? Oh, yeah, K. Jones, we made it the other day, dude. We did. I, we, you, we absolutely made it. I will be doing a special episode of DSP Tries It. I just, I'm going to take a little bit to look up something good to do for it. I don't want to just rush one out. So I'm going to look for like a, something, a funny item or something good that I can use for the, uh, for the event. So thank you very much, K. Jones. I really appreciate your support, man. The other day, you and Swaggins went above and beyond. Ah, I know what to do. No? Fuck. Okay. He's dead. <laughs> I just had to see what would happen. I had to do it. I had to fucking see what I could do there. <laughs> that was good. Katie Jones says face palm. No, I did it on purpose. I wanted to see what would happen. <laughs> I wanted to see what would happen. It's like it was a mistake or something. Oh my god, dude, there's a hundred enemies. Huh? Huh? What the fuck? What the fuck? I didn't have low health and I- What happened? What happened? What happened? Oh, uh, I died for no reason. Not a single energy bar ent emptied. I died for absolutely no reason. There's no explanation for that. I just died for no reason. Let's try that again. What was that? <laughs> I seriously, and I'm, I'm waiting. Like, no one in stream chat is ex explaining that either. Like, none of that made any fucking sense. Fairlight Excalibur says that bone thieves will kill you instantly regardless of health. If you don't shake them off, they possess you. Great. He said, well, let me do this. Here's the hole. Large enough for a small dog to pass through. What the fuck does that mean? The 
the sheet music. Ow. Here's the lucky penny, maybe? Okay, both Blemish, C-Type, and Tekken are saying apparently you can target as the fucking trapper by holding R2. Now, how the fuck would I know that? And why would I even try? Yeah, look. How fucking stupid. If you stand right next to him and do it, it doesn't work. But if you target him, it works. Uh stupid. Can I maybe use the penny here? I mean, this would be incredibly dangerous. He'd probably electrocute himself. Yes! Oh my god, he jams the lucky penny in place with the fuse. It works. What? Oh my god, that is some bootleg shit. That is so bootleg. There's no way in real life that would work. In real life, this would not work. This is bullshit. Bullshit. I call bullshit. In real life, that would not work. You'd probably electrocute yourself. <laughs> oh my god. I call bullshit. Actor Michael Merchant asked me, do I plan on trying out dead cells? I have no idea what that is. What is, de what is dead cells? Someone was telling me earlier about someone who supposedly plagiarized a review of it. Uh, yes, you okay. I did see your link of Blade Strangers on Twitter. Thank you. Second surprise says Dead Cells is a Metrovania, a Metroidvania roguelike indie game that's a ton of fun. It got excellent reviews. Oh, another Metroid fucking Vania game, huh? You mean like Hol Hollow Knight and all the other Metroidvania games people tell me to play, and then when I try them, everyone says they suck and they're boring for streams? That's why I don't play Metroidvania games. I tried playing two or three of them over the years, and everyone seems to hate them. So, <laughs> yeah, another one has come out. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Blemish C-Type says, Gee, maybe if someone would make a Metroidvania-style game pack with internet memes and SJW rhetoric, then the kitties would be entertained. Yeah, maybe, I guess. And Octopus says, remember this room, Phil? Yeah, this was the room that I died a hundred times, remember? With Paul Luther, or whatever the fuck his name was. Paul Luther didn't have guns. That's why it was a pain in the ass. Yes, Camp Perry 2 delayed Guacamelee was like that, and that's why I played it once ever co-op with John Rambo, and I never played it again. Because everyone complained during Guacamelee that it was boring. Even though I was doing co-op with Rambo, co-op commentary, people complained the game was boring. Then years later, I played uh, Ori in the Blind Forest, and after one session, people complained that it was boring. Everyone that who watches my stuff complains that Metroidvania games are boring, so I stopped playing them entirely. The corridor is ended by an elaborate door decorated in a manner different than the others. Peter says there's an unbearable evil beyond the door. When he reaches to open it, fear creeps into his gut. Should he open the door? Yes. Oh boy. It's the Guardian. It's the fucking Guardian. You better take a sip. You fucking sleazy asshole.
I'm screwed. I don't know what to do. It's another puzzle boss. There's no way to know what to do unless you actually know exactly what you're supposed to be doing. This is what old school gaming is about, brother. This sucks. He interrupted it. This is fucking terrible. A puzzle boss! Ah. Ah. There's no way to know what to do without looking it up or just flubbing around. There's no fucking way. I can't even walk. For some reason, I'm not getting hit. Now I am. This sucks. Without, without knowing what to do, I can't hurt this guy. I need to look it up. This is the only way. This is not normal combat like the rest of the game. You can't, you can't ever hit him. You need to find a way to get his barrier down, which I don't know how. I can never cast it. now oh my fucking god not working it's too late now it's still hitting me it doesn't even make sense Just kill me. I'm tired of this. It sucks. Just fucking kill me, this stupid game. Kill yourself, idiot. I didn't once get to cast the attack spell. When I did, it did zero, zero. No effect to him at all. <laughs> it's, I told you, it's a fucking bullshit puzzle. You know? It's a puzzle. You need to figure, what's the puzzle? What's the solution to the puzzle? Instead of it being a legit boss, it's just a fucking puzzle. Ugh, annoying as fuck. This is what kills me, it's like... I, I love the game and then puzzle boss. Not a legit fight, puzzle boss. Okay. <laughs> what I was thinking was when he was glowing green, he's slow. That's the time to run up and do the attack spell. But then every time I tried to do it, I didn't have enough fucking magic to do it. Duh. Total Fishing says eternal darkness more like eternal puzzle. It is a puzzle boss. I think I need to wait for him to be glowing green when he's slow and then try to hit him with a spell and then just run away for the rest of the time until he glows green again. Alright. Alright, he's glowing green. Here we go. So, it should have, but I don't think it did. I don't think it worked. Alright. No, he stopped! He was glowing, I ran up to do it, and then it fucking stopped working. Okay. 
Okay, now. Okay, it hit him. Is that it? Is that seriously it? Great, he's made, 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 made him more angry. Oh my god. He made him more angry. Puzzle phase that I can't figure out. Nope, still can't shoot it. What do I do? I have no idea. I can't hurt it now. Say it's fucking it's a terrible boss. It's a puzzle boss. You need to know exactly what to do on each phase, and if you don't, there's no way you can beat him. It's not a legit boss. Like in Silent Hill, the bosses you have to fucking hit them a lot. Not this boss. This boss you need to know exactly what to do in each stage at what time, or you can't beat the boss. It's garbage. This is out very outdated. This is why this kind of fucking stuff isn't in modern games. It's very bad. <clears throat> Let me see. Type says once he summons zombies, run behind him and hit him with a spell. It should kill, hit him and all the zombies. It didn't. I literally just did that. Black Mage C type. That's what I did, and it went right through him and had no effect at all. Didn't hit him. <laughs> Fucking sucks. It seriously sucks. I'm sorry. It, the whole game up to now has been all right. This this boss fight is terrible. Absolutely fucking terrible. Uh. Oh! Righty then. We get to watch this again. And no way to look, no way to skip it. Now people in stream chat are saying, oh, don't do the seven point spell, do a three or five point spell in the second phase now. Why? <laughs> Doesn't even make sense. It seriously makes, the game makes no fucking sense.
It didn't hit him. Why did it miss? Why did it miss? I'm standing right next to him doing it. It doesn't hit him. What the fuck, dude? This fucking sucks. This seriously fucking sucks. This sucks! It fucking sucks. It's terrible. <laughs> what? He's glowing, I go to do the spell, he just fucking attacks anyway. Huh? This is fucking terrible garbage. This is terrible garbage. Ugh. Did nothing. It had zero effect on him. Zero. Zero effect. No effect at all. Zero. <laughs> this game fucking sucks. What the fuck? Zero effect. What a great game. Oh my god. It doesn't fucking do anything. Nothing. What am I supposed to do? I can't do anything to hit him. He never glows, so I can never hit him. He's not glowing. You can only hit him when he glows, and he's not glowing. Look, he never glows. It has no effect. What the fuck? This fucking sucks. I don't know what to do. I'm not gonna beat this boss until I look it up. I'm gonna look it up myself. I am. Because people in the stream chat give me like half information. And it's not helping, and I'm not gonna beat them. There's no way. This fucking sucks. 
So time to look it up since it's a puzzle boss. A 100% garbage puzzle boss. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. Uh... Okay, gamefacts.com. Nice old school puzzle bosses with no fucking solutions. What a waste of time. I hate it. I really do. I hate when old games do this shit. What a fucking annoying waste of time. <sighs> Is facts. <clears throat> All right. We're actually near the end of the game. According to this, there's only two more characters. Get to the fucking walkthrough. Alright, here we go. I'm almost there. Alright, here it is. Okay, let's see here. <clears throat> wow, the game this actually gives a lot of advice. Just try casting a shield on yourself before the fight. Try cheating all your weapons before the fight. Okay, let's see. Phase one, which we already know. Oh my god, we're not even through phase one. Stay as far back as possible. The further back you are, the more time you'll have to move away from the attacks. There's only one way to injure it. Across all three phases, across all the three different Black Guardians, you must use a three-point magical attack in the alignment that opposes the Black Guardian. So if the Guardian is Chaturga, Chatter red, use blue. If it's blue, use green. If it's green, use red. Okay. The Guardian is vulnerable to any attack unless it's blinking white. Once it starts flashing white and it's safe for you to do so, you can cast a spell and hit the monster from any range. You don't have to be close to it. Cast a three-point spell because they're fairly quick. You will not have any time, especially in the third phase, to cast a seven-point spell at all. Okay. All right, here are some tips. So I have to go to the... Here it is. The Zelatoth Black Guardian. Let's see. He says, this is the hardest first phase out of all of them. Even though I've already beat the first phase. So 
So phase two, let's see. It says it summons several zombies, right? And the Black Guardian moves a magical berry to the south closer to it. Okay. All right, let's see here. It says, right, stand right beside the barrier at the southern part of the room, far from the zombies. The Black Guardian will summon three zombies. As long as you're standing at the far south of the room, uh, the government will, will summon them the moment this phase starts. Simply stand back and wait for the third to be summoned. The moment that it is, the Black Guardian will flash. So when the third zombie comes out of the ground, it flashes incredibly briefly. And I'm supposed to know that. I'm supposed to notice that. That it, it blinks incredibly briefly at the end of the third zombie summon. Yeah, the moment the third bomb is summoned to rise from the ground, start casting your three-point magic attack spell right away. You'll hit the Black Guardian the moment it begins flashing, which is perfect, as you won't miss your chance to hit it. The magical attack is so strong it will wipe out all the zombies, too. It says, don't go towards the, the thing to finish them off. Just keep casting the spell at the, as the third zombie starts to rise and you'll hit it. Then it has a third and final fucking phase. Let's see if we can get past phase two. Oh my god. Try hard. Just did a three dollar tip. He says, you're too good and intelligent for this boring ass game. Fuck this game. Now, that's not the point. The point is, it's just fucking mad annoying. Because it's a puzzle. A fucking stupid puzzle. I'm supposed to know that you can only hit it after the third zombie summon. How the fuck would you know that? You don't. <laughs> Classic case of a game that's actually quite interesting and good. But a, a boss fight that's just so poorly engineered. Ruining the fucking thing. Ugh. Still hasn't glowed. Okay. It missed. See, it doesn't, it's not even consistent. It missed for no reason. It should have hit, but it fucking missed for absolutely no reason. I'm standing, I'm standing right staring at him. It's supposed to hit him and it doesn't. It's fucking stupid. Why didn't it hit him? Oh my god. Fucking guy. Finally. Okay. Now for second phase, they said do the three point spell as the third zombie's coming out of the ground. So I can't do it this first time. I gotta do it the second time. Because now they're already coming out of the ground, see? Oh, look! Yup! Never vulnerable. 
Didn't work. He was never glowing. He's never glowing. He has to be glowing to be hit, and he's never glowing. The game's fucking up. It's not me. The game is fucking up and not allowing me to do it. I'm so desensitized at this point to this shit. Wait. It's supposed to supposed to glow. What's up, party buck? Yeah, supposedly he's supposed to be glowing right now. After the third zombie comes out, he's supposed to glow, and he never does. Glitched. Oh, look, there he goes. Now it's going to be too late. Watch. It went away before it hit him. I'm gonna wait for the third zombie to come out of the ground. Then I'll do it. Alright, now. I got him! It worked! Alright, that's phase two. Now there's a third phase, apparently. Okay. Yeah, it's probably like one or two more hits. This one I, I'm figuring out by myself. This phase is easy. Once you get past the first two phases, this one makes sense. Dodge and counter hit. All right, here we go. Okay. Got him. What the fuck? Oh my God. There was no way I would have ever figured out phase two if I didn't look it up. There was no way. Cause he never even glowed when you were when you were at mi close to mid range. He never even glowed at all, so he was never vulnerable ever. So with the Guardian of Zillatot's Vanquish and the stained glass that kept a hidden light in pieces, the essence of Chaturga is now liberated. Yes, pick it up. Peter reaches out for the artifact but pulls away as he feels its corrosive magic on his hand. Grabbing his hands in a shred of clothing, he carefully lifts the artifact from its resting place. Essence of Chaturga. Ugh. That was a pain in the ass. 69 years later. And that was how I... He sets the clock to the 33rd minute of the third hour. The... Last 
Second hand? <laughs> Apparently I didn't need it. I just needed the two. Well, there you go. I, I, I was out thinking myself thinking I need a second hand for the clock. I didn't need it. There's the Book of the Dead. Damn. And we pick up the tome? Yes. The Tome of Eternal Darkness. Here we go. Uh oh. You're just really good with fucking metal. You smash the two pieces together and you're good now. What on earth? Oh? They won't let me use it. It's still broken. How do I fix it? Okay, so it's not fixed. I need to find a way to repair the key. Uh. How the hell do I do that? Oh, wait a minute. Now, I thought maybe I had a spell, but recover. You can't recover, cast recover on an item. If I enchant it, I doubt it'll work. It worked! Oh my god, it worked! I thought it was gonna glow red or something. No, it actually repaired it. Holy shit. Okay then. That was a total guess.
I'm still not allowed to save. They won't let me. John, I haven't checked chat much today because you guys are not talking whatsoever about anything. Oh, fuck. What rune am I supposed to do? Oh, crap. Well, guess what? I already did two power runes. I need to do two more. But what runes do I need to fucking do? I have no fucking clue and I gotta look this up. Because I'm not fucking doing this over again. I'm not. I refuse. So, let's see... I'm not sure I'm doing the right thing. Apparently I could have gotten the elephant gun and I didn't. Yeah, apparently I could have gotten it, it's saying. I, I missed out on it. So it's the room that lets sends them to all the tower tops. So I did the power room. Okay. Okay, you'll have to pick a room. Only one of them can be used with the dispel magic, and that is the R Red Gormor rune. So I need to use Red Gormor. All right, Red Gormor. Because I guess we're trying to cast Dispel, apparently. Okay. Not that I would know that. All right, which one do I need here? Let's see.
Wow, cringy tendies just did a 25 bit cheer. Thanks, cringy tendies. It's not just, I thought it was four. It's not. Like, I need to do all the other ones. It's a major pain in the ass. So, this segment's super long. Vampire, Vivi Vampire Thug cheered and asked, Do I like pancakes? Yes, I do. I'm so desensitized at this point to this shit. I absolutely do like pancakes. By the way, I literally just chugged like half a seltzer water, so I'm gonna be belching loudly for the next, you know, several hours. <laughs> yes, Eternal Napalm, what I realized is I don't need to fight any of the enemies in this area. I'm basically just activating the runes and then getting the fuck out of those areas. So I don't have to fucking fight anything, which is good. So I'm actually gonna save my game right now. And I'm gonna continue on. I got three more to do, I think. What? Deleting? What? What is it deleting? Oh! This can't be happening! Oh! It was the sanity! Ha! <laughs> Got him! <laughs> Gotti! <laughs> Dude, it was the sanity trick! It was the sanity trick! It scared the shit out of me, dude! The sanity trick totally got me! Oh my god, dude, it got me so bad! I thought it deleted my games! <laughs> dude, it got me! 100% I got fooled! I, I will admit that till the day I die. They got me good. I was not expecting that. Dude, I thought it deleted all my fucking save data. Oh my god, dude. Holy shit. Did you like it? Well, just to... I'm saving again now. I'm saving again. What the fuck, dude? Dude, that got me real bad. That got me real bad. Alright, so shout out to Creepy Spaghetti, who now did a 700-bit cheer, and said, Delete! Not like this! <sighs> and Jubaka, please do not tell me about being spammed about stuff. The problem, if you're getting spammed, it's obviously trolls. Please block and report those trolls. Thank you. So, please forgive me for one second while I uh, take out the trash in the stream chat. There we go. As you can see, as we're all sitting here having fun tonight, none of the stuff that the trolls are telling you is true, so please ignore it. Get my sanity back. Thank you, Weapon J, for a 50-bit cheer. I appreciate that, Weapon J. Ap apologies, I was getting you on the leaderboard and then someone out-cheered you earlier. Sucks, I know, but that's life, I guess. People will do anything for attention. It's that simple. Now I expect that people will say, Oh, Phil's in trouble. Let me throw him money. I know, I hate it. I'm tired of talking about the fucking money. I'm tired of it. There's no reason to fight when you can just take flight. Remember that. Okay, two more to go. Why fight when you can take flight? One who runs and lives to survive is one who didn't take a dive. There you go. <laughs> I made that up on the fly. How you guys like that one? Okay. Give me that book. Yes. Bass Relief or Beast Relief? I don't know how to say it. Because the Sorcerer casting a spell, there's an air of authority about him covered by his dominating visage. Below the, the design, a small ledge produced on the wall waiting for something. Oh, hi. Fuck him. With authority. 
fucking authority. Execute you, bitch. Alright, the scholar. So the warrior, the scholar, and the magician. Okay, it's not working. So maybe what you do is you put the one that's the opposite. Nope. I tried putting the correct one, it doesn't work. I tried putting the opposite one, it doesn't work. Yeah, I tried putting... I put the blue and the blue and the green and the green, it didn't work. So then I put a blue on the, on the green and it still didn't work. So I don't know what to do. And I'm gonna run out of ammo if I don't fucking figure this out, so I might have to look it up. Ugh. You put, what do you put the one that they're weak that they're weak they're strong against maybe so red would be good against green ah you put the one they're strong against green is good against blue and blue is good against red Oh, he said, okay, someone says they've been a fan since 2011. They like my content, but they bring me up with a friend. All he does is talk shit. All he does is he doesn't know anything about me, just the memes. Any advice? All I can say is have him come by and hang out on a stream. Have him actually see what the stream is really like. Give him a chance, you know? And see the streams are nothing like what the memes fucking say, and I think he'll enjoy it. I don't know. I did all these. I did everything. I did absolutely everything. I don't know where to go. So if I can't figure this out in the next five minutes, I'm looking it up. Because I want to try to finish this fucking game tonight and not waste all this time on a stupid, a stupid endless fucking corner, quarter, corny, circular fucking maze. It shouldn't be like this. <laughs> this is outdated game design. Alright, time to look it up. I'm tired of wasting fucking time. Time to probe alone just shoot. It says, my rivals ask me, can raw things ever be good? They keep saying that raw meat is good. I stand by my belief that anything raw is bad. No, not everything raw is bad. Some things could be eaten raw that are delicious. Sushi, for existence. There, an example. That's sushi. I'll fit, you know, some fish. Okay, well, fuck this. <sighs> Alright, here it is. Michael's chapter. Okay, I'm keep going. Effigy. Enchanted Gladius. Okay. Resembles one that both Pius and Alex have is enchanted. And, and it, it's enchanted that the, the alignment that opposes Pius is ancient. This sounds great, but what is its use? Well, this weapon will stay enchanted. You don't have to cast spells on it to keep it like that, making it useful against Pius. Okay. So we pick up this weapon and head back up the stairs to hallway two on, of the third floor. All right, so the obelisk says... Oh. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me.
Oh my god, dude, I swear to god, I never would have figured this out. I never would have figured this next part out in a million fucking years. Wait till you see what they expect you to try to figure out. Watch this. You're, you're gonna be blown away at this one. So what they expect you to do is walk right here and look at this obelisk. Then what they expect you to do is read those runes on this obelisk, which by the way, they're pixelated the fuck. I don't know what the fuck those runes are, okay? But according to the, the fact that I have here, okay, it says those are the Tear and Aratok sigils, okay? And what they say is if you make a, you, the spell with Tear and Aratok, you'll be able to progress through this. Seriously, we, so here's what you gotta do. Spell list. Right? What what spell has Tear and Aratok? So you would do this. It doesn't it doesn't matter what kind. Tear Aratok. Trapper spell. See that? So now you know you need to cast the trapper spell. Then you have to use the trapper to target the obelisk and cast your trapper spell. It didn't work. Or did it? Screw it over till it's in front of the obelisk. Have the trapper target the obelisk and have it trap it. He did something similar to this in Peter's chapter. If properly cast the trapper, will send the obelisk to the trapper dimension. So it didn't work. Because Michael was in or Michael was in the way. So basically you gotta stand over here, summon a trapper, and summon this fucking thing to another dimension. How the fuck would you have known that? No, I mean it. How would you have known this? There's no fucking way you would have ever figured this out. How on earth would I have- I would have never figured this out. Summon the obelisk to another dimension? The trappers never summoned an object to another dimension ever in the game. Plus, I can't read the runes on it because the game's too pixelated. I can't see shit. I can't see shit. I can't see shit. Boy, am I glad that I fucking looked it up. Alright. There. How would I have known to do that on my own? That's insane. Because I'm stupid. I'm a retard. Big Time Tipper uh, give me a 100-bit cheer and said, Praise be. Thank you, Big Time Tipper, for the 100-bit cheer. Apologies, I didn't see that earlier. Now that's fucking based. MTC Dude did a 50-bit cheer. He says, Is it okay that I drink four glasses of wine every day while I watch your night streams on wine? I think four glasses of wine is a tad bit much. Uh, maybe one or two is okay. Celebratory toast for being done with the goddamn back taxes on the state of, of Washington. Here we go. Everyone, if you have a drink, raise your glass with me, or your can, or your chalice, or your flute, whatever it is that you may drink from. Let's have a celebratory toast to being done with that fucking shit. Just like what Panda Lee did to ridiculous. me. Shut the fuck up. Absolutely ridiculous. You better take a sip. You fucking sleazy asshole. Salud. Uh, Yolo Dopper cheered and said, Phil, don't look it up. It's fun to watch you figure it out. I never would have figured that out. I literally never would have figured out that obelisk part. No way. That's just fucking nuts. They expect you to know that or figure that shit out. Why in, on, on this planet do we have to always play the blame game? I, this is actually something unrelated, but why do we have to do this? When something goes wrong, there's always got to be a finger to point and someone who has to be responsible afterward. Maybe things are just fucked up sometimes. You ever think of that? Oops, went the wrong way. Yeah, I must have to control one of these guys. I have to wait for my magic to go up to use one of these guys to attack the other, maybe, or something? Didn't do anything. Oh my god. Oh! 
So the bind spell doesn't work properly. You bind the guy because he does you can't really control him, he does nothing. So what am I supposed to do? Well, Ring Wu is best for you or best for who cheered and said, I remember watching you when I was in my, when I was young, now I'm in my roaring twenties. And I relaxed on stream with a cup of gin. Well good for you. Good for you, it's obviously some kind of a meme, I don't know. I don't know how the fuck this works either. So I'm gonna look it up. <laughs> I'm seriously gonna look it up. Alright, so here you go. So you get the bind spell. There's a large barrier between Michael and the horror. They can't get to you. There's no way to pass the barrier. There's also no way to hurt the horrors. Remember the bind spell? The horrors will be on the same will be of the same alignment. But if you cast a seven point bind spell of the alignment that opposes them, you'll be able to bind one of them. So I'm supposed to know magically it's a seven point bind spell. What the fuck is with this game? I'm sorry. This game is Cryptic City. You're supposed to know you need the seven point bind spell, not the three or the five. The seven point bind spell. Oh, of course. I still don't have enough magic. Well, shout out to the hopper who just reset for the fourth month in a row. Thank you to the hopper. I keep running around like an asshole. So there's absolutely no way to know to get the trapper to skip her to the obelisk. There's also absolutely no way to know that only the seven point bind spell works against these guys. Cryptic as fuck. Thank God we're at the end of the game. Seriously. The whole point of a video game is that you're supposed to be able to find different ways and unique ways to get past challenges. By the way, I don't think I'm beating this tonight. I'm serious. I just looked and there's a whole giant segment with Alex at the end, so I don't think I'm even beating this game tonight. I think the game is insanely drawn out at the fucking end here. Yeah, I have no idea where the fuck to go. Oh. <sighs> God. Okay. You know, you must now backtrack to hallway two of the third floor, which is only a few rooms back. Okay, so it's that room where it said it looked like there was a wall there, but there wasn't. Or it, looked like there were, it looked like there was a door there, but there wasn't. Right here. Yep. I gotta mix this with something, but I don't know what. Oh my god. Tommy Provolone says, if I, if I send you a box of surprise eggs... Would you do an unboxing? No, I would not. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. He says you cannot use the plastic explosive. You probably guessed the wall is nothing more than a mere illusion. Cast a seven point reveal invisible spell under the alignment that opposes Pius's master. And it makes the illusionary wall disappear. Again, how would I have known? You need to do the seven point reveal spell here in order to reveal this. Dude, the end of the game is insanely stupid. This sucks. I'm sorry. This is really bad. How would I have known you need to do the seven point reveal invisible spell? Wow, that's terrible. That is fucking terrible. There's no way you could have known that without looking it up or just guessing. Uh. Oh, great. Ding dong. Let me guess, it's the Gladius. It's probably the enchanted Gladius that Michael left. Yep. Check it. Open it. No, it's the essence of Ilioth. So now she has the essence of all three things. And the Enchanted Gladius. I knew it. 
As the tome is suggested by Edward and Maximilian's words, the city exists. It's far more incredible than Alex had thought. Here are the ruins of Egna, or Edga, the, the corpse city, parasitized by guardians of Zelatoth. Nine great towers dwarf the surrounding buildings. It would appear these towers serve as some kind of focusing array, channeling great tides of energy into the city itself. All right, Big Time Tibber just proved himself to be a troll and is now permanently banned from the chat. Why am I toxic? What? But thanks for the money, dummy, as they say. <laughs> well, thanks for the dollar tip, stupid. <laughs> Yo. All the doors got resealed. I fucked up. It's a seven point. No, I only have a five point. I can't do it. Fuck. How was I supposed to know there would be a dispel magic there? Well, the good news is I can stand here and regenerate my magic, but how do I do this? I don't have a seven point dispel magic unless I just need to do it. I think I need to do it. Netflix and Red, Red Gormore. Shout out to Seros Gata, who cheered. And MTC dude is talking about more cosplay characters, which I'm not gonna pay attention to. <laughs> All right, so now I have it. It was just that I had, oh my God, I lost tons of health. Oh my God, how stupid was that? The trolls are on full force cheering for some reason. I don't know why they're giving me money to ch 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 to, to do their trolling. I have no idea. Can't go this way. What? This is a dead end. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Uh, what the fuck? Oh my god, this game is fucking a tedious, terrible end, dude. Yeah, so Alex has to repeat what Edward did. She has to visit each of the nine fucking towers to do the same shit again. How terrible is that? So Alex will not be doing it to spell magic. If you remember back to the letter that we got from Edward, Alex will have to cast a summoning spell that brings the ancient that opposes Pius' ancient into our universe. This is the only way that Alex will be able to destroy the eternal darkness and stop Pius. The first tower has three trappers. Yep. Alex will be seeing all that many monsters on her journey and she won't be finding any inside of room one. There's a giant pit of very hot boulders. It blocks your path. The green magical barrier that is in front of that doorway will automatically be dropped once you enter the room, meaning Alex won't have to pull any levers. The pinnacle is actually a giant illusion. It isn't really there at all. Oh. You need to do a seven point reveal spell. How would I know that? Dude, this is insane. I was supposed to know to cast a seven point reveal invisible spell. Oh yeah. What the fuck? I was supposed to know that. I have no idea what they were thinking with this game at this point. I'm serious. This is insanity. This is just ridiculous. 
There's no way you could know this shit at all. Uh. Anyway. The old upper is talking about Alex Jones fighting for freedom of speech. I don't care. It's pol political. I don't care. But thank you for the cheer. And I got an anonymous dollar tip. Thank you whoever tipped me a dollar anonymously. I appreciate it. Yeah, there's no way I can even beat this tonight. I only have 10 minutes left on the stream. And they expect me to do eight other fucking rooms and a final boss. So, not beating this tonight. Okay, so I'm gonna need to summon a creature, right? An Aratok rune. It's required for the summon spell. Aratok. Okay. How exciting. Okay. Well, someone who actually named themselves a really slimy dumb troll did a troll cheer and just got banned. I mean, that's pretty impressive when you name yourself a dumb troll so I know to ban you. <laughs> that's pretty good. Get that ass banned. Overall, I do like the game. Just this last, this ending is tedious, tedious and cryptic, you know? Like, this room is not tedious or cryptic. It's very straightforward what you do. But then you got a room where, oh, you're supposed to know to do a seven-point fucking dispel magic spell because there's an illusion. Oh, how the fuck would I know that? And the one with the trapper getting rid of the obelisk, that was insane. This never happened in the whole game. Not once in the whole game would you, would you fucking know that that's what you needed to do. That was just really stupid. Alright. I probably got time for one more room here tonight. And then the next time I play it, it'll probably only be like an hour. I'll finish up these rooms, and then there's a final boss fight, apparently. Uh. Oh. Look at this. Sanity. This isn't really happening. Dare I ask what the fuck this is? Uh. Oh, look at this. Sanity. This isn't really happening. I'm not sure how to get past this. It's not a shield, obviously. Hmm. There's gotta be a way to get past this. I don't know how, though. Purple? A purple ground? I... Alright, the summon and spell. Did that. Okay, here we go. A very crafty puzzle room. There's a giant pit in the center surrounded by a giant glowing purple pattern. That's right. If you stamp on it, the huge red worm, right, will storm out of the pit, scaring Alex to death. She doesn't die, the worm will, won't take out any health, but it loses three quarters of your sanity, and then you go partially insane. Don't begin to hallucinate. There are two ways to get out of this room, this sanity effect. You can either wait for Alex to regain her head, or you can cast a recover sanity spell. Right. 
This place is her back at the exact same spot she was when she first entered the room. So how the hell do you get across the room if you can't step on the purple? Oh my god. Guess what? There's a game mechanic. I'm not even kidding. Wait till you fucking hear this. There's a game mechanic in the game that was never explained that you need to use to pass this room. Alright, so before we get there, thank you for a couple people who are all cheering. I appreciate that. Also to SamSlayer2012 who subscribed to the channel. And yes, MTC dude, I'm using game facts. Okay. There's a game mechanic never explained. It actually says that in the fact. So you need to hold down the X button. What do you hold? I didn't do that. Hold down the X button. What the fuck? It says when you hold down X and you walk, look what happens. You enter what's called sneak mode. And apparently in the game, this has never been required in the entire game until now. Take a look. As long as you're in sneak mode, the purple doesn't trigger. But never until this moment in the game was sneak mode ever required, nor was it ever explained. It's just in the game and you need to use it at this point or you can't pass this room. Wow. That is quite shitty. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, that's really bad. A game mechanic never explained in the entirety of the game that you need to use at the end of the game. What the fuck? Well, I completed one, two, three, four, four out of the nine rooms. I need to do five more and then apparently there's a final boss. I'm gonna call it quits here for tonight. What the hell? You know, I thought I'd be able to beat it tonight. Nope. So I'm going to need like another hour session at some point to beat it. <sighs> All right. Well, anyway, thank you everyone for your cheers. MTC Dude did a final few cheers. Said, good night, DSP. Good night, Obi-Wan. Good night, chat. Good night to MTC Dude. Thank you very much, MTC Dude. And when I come back to this game, it will be the conclusion finally. Yeesh. The fuck is that? Oh, God. Or it's a kind of a weird puzzle room. Oh shit, what is this? It looks like I need to get rid of, of three obelisks. Do I have to teleport the obelisks away, much like I did earlier? A room is shaped like the Gladiator's Arena, a pit where unnatural combatants once face each other, seeking to shed blood in the name of the unholy, unfathomable Dark God. Maybe I need to summon... The, uh, whatchamacallit, summon one of the creatures to get rid of this? Let's see. Wait, what color is it? I need blue. Let's see if this works. Nope. I thought maybe I could summon away the obelisk much like I did previously. And, uh, nope. It means I gotta do something down here. What do I gotta do? What the fuck do I do? Uh... I don't know. It's got to be a spell. Transferring magic from the environment to the self. I guess we'll try magic pool. Wait, what color is this one? This one's blue, so I should use green. Nope. All right, time to look it up. Another another completely cryptic puzzle with no explanation, and I don't have time to waste tonight, so I'm just looking it the fuck up. 
<sighs> Stupid. Okay. All right, here it is. Three obelisks. Each of them has a different sigil on it. If Alex, if Alex attacks any of these obelisks with any object or weapon, not only will they not be destroyed, but a horror of the same alignment will show up. This is something you really want. It's something you don't really want. The obelisk will draw energy from its sigil from the ancient to repair any damage or object or weapon you did to it. So you'll not be able to destroy them this way. The only way to dispel the barrier on the doors to destroy all the obelisks. The answer is simple. You must think to your magic. You must attack the three obelisks at the exact same time with a magical attack spell. Once you've done this, the obelisks will all dim, and the magical barrier will be removed. Once it's done, run through the doorway to get a room of five on the third floor. How do you do this? How do I attack them all with a spell? That doesn't even make sense. What? How? Maybe I gotta I get use the attack spell for the center of the room or something? That was fucking... I would never would have figured that. Another one I never would have figured out. Never. If I tried that for an hour, I would have never figured that shit out. I just needed to look it up. <laughs> the end of this game is insanely fucking unfair and cryptic. It really is. But yeah, I'm not opposed to playing more retro games. If this is what people like, we want to see me play some old school stuff, right? By the way, I forgot to put CM Fool on the leaderboard, so I'll do that right now. Perfect timing. Fatal frame uh, weapon J. Here we go, cutscene. Look at this. Ha! Huh. Face to face ah, with bias. Miss Rivers, you're just in time. The summoning spell I began 2,000 years ago is finally complete. You will now have the honor of becoming the first morsel for my Lady Zelatov. An appetizer for the banquet your race shall provide. You forget what it means to be human, Pius. Bitch. The human race will never go quietly into the darkness. For as long as you have spent summoning your lord, people have struggled against you. Now, thanks to their efforts, I have three of the ancient's essences. Now, Pius, this is the end. <laughs> oh, the boy. End indeed. Great. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh boy. He's very green. Excuse me. Well, there she is. There she is, Mrs. Zelata. Holy fuck. And now I summoned her a nemesis. Whatever the fuck this thing is. Krabby McCrabbington. Okay then. No, it didn't do anything. Fuck.
Leave me alone, you old shit. gone. Oh, it's over there. I see. Yep. I need to recover, but I need to get away from him. Which I can't do, because I have no health. Yeah, I'm fucked. It's over. There's no way to heal now. Yep. So you need to stay away from him and not get hit, because if you get hurt, you there's no opportunity to heal because he follows you around. I mean, at least I know what to do now, but it just sucks. I think I have to watch the cutscene again. Oh, good. Here's the bad ending cutscene. <laughs> Fool! I spit at thee! The darkness shall be eternal! Oh well, the end. Alright, so DJ Bruno Cheery said, Would you ever consider playing Spittle Sir Chaos Theory if people wanted me to? Weapon J did a 50 bit cheers at home stretch. Yep, this is the end. And Bulletproof 2014 cheer said, With Dragon Ball Fighter Z coming to Switch, do you think Goku will be a guest character? I don't know. They got everybody else. And no, John, apparently I, I wasn't able to skip cutscenes earlier in the game. I don't think you can. So every time I fight this guy, I have to watch all the fucking cutscenes again. Now at least I know what to do this first form. You hit him, it tells you where the thing is. Run, hit the thing. Hit him, run, hit the thing. Until the first phase is done. <sighs> Alright. Alright, here we go. I'm chopping the shit out of him. He's done. Yeah! Goodbye, Pius! Now execute his ass. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, he shot the god in half. Oh god, here goes her arms. So much for that fight. One ancient slaughters another fucking ancient. That's how it's done. That is how it's done. He's done, I won. Good shit. Ha! Huh, Easton Tilly says, good to you know fundamentals. It's not so easily destroyed. Oh, yeah? No. But you are, bitch. My death is just the beginning. Then let it begin. Ha 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 ha. DJ Runo Chiri said this. Oh, uh, hold on. We must find this creature. Oh, boy. It cannot be allowed to remain in this universe. Oh, what am I doing? Probably dispel, right? I gotta look this up. I'm not fucking up now. Fuck this. I'm looking it up. Oh, you cannot choose the wrong rune here. Because if you do it, Edward says, no, this isn't it. Oh, okay. So it doesn't matter. Good heavens, no. Not that one. Nor that one either. <laughs> Come on, Edward. It hasn't been that long since you researched this stuff. I miss you. Bye bye. Well, As eternal I darkness is done. Ancient I had brought into this world to stop Pius. My mistake was made clear. This ancient could lay the world to ruin just as easily as Pius's would have. And yet, as quickly as it began. <laughs> to think that once I could not see beyond the veil of reality. To see those who dwell behind. I was
was once a fool. Oh, the end. Well, in summary, I really liked the game. I just think that sadly there's maybe three or four points in the game that are so ridiculously cryptic. It's almost impossible to figure out unless you just do endless trial and error, which for me, sadly, did not translate well, and I had to look some stuff up.